So today my dad and I, we are going to attempt to do something no one has ever done to a wake surfboat, and that is to add as many LEDs as we absolutely can. We ordered some of the brightest lights on the market, and when we're all sun done, if we could fit all the lights that my dad ordered, this whole boat is gonna be close to 500,000 lumens of light, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah, and then this way Brad could surf 24 hours a day, like like he's gonna go out on the lake that much. Well, night, surf, night surfing is so much fun. Well, we're actually gonna make two. We're gonna make a forward-facing LED bar, and then we're making a rear-facing LED bar. And the other thing is, is we're not just building an LED bar, we're also getting the design look to match the boat, the, the, the boat, the Diberti Edition RI-265, this thing is just gorgeous. My dad and I are extremely proud of it. Took a lot of incredible people to team up to actually create this thing. So let me show you guys the LED lights that we got and, uh, and let me know what you guys think. Yeah, I, I, it's definitely... <laughs> It's definitely overkill. But th this is what we're wanting to do just on the front of the boat. So this is, how many is this, 13? This is 13, but the hard part is we have to bring a huge battery cable up to this to run it, and we gotta run the other end to a relay to a battery. So a little 12 volt switch will kick the switch on and then it'll light up this big battery cable that's gonna go directly to two batteries. And then we're gonna hook every one of these lights up fused maybe somewhere right in here and trying to keep it you know, waterproof and clean. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a lot of lights. So what we figured out is we, we kind of did a lot of research and you, you, a lot of you guys obviously know that I, I've professionally raced off-road for uh, uh, probably the last seven years. And we researched what are the trophy trucks running in the desert? Because whatever the trophy trucks are running, these guys are doing over 100 miles an hour and they're going through crazy terrain. And the other important part is we wanted an LED that wasn't just a spot LED, meaning it's more like a pencil kind of light. We wanted one that was wide. We found the Baja Design LP6s. These are really cool because I also love like like the little logo and then there's little LEDs on the side. Uh, those will light up a, a color, like if you don't want the full light bar on. But these are the, the reviews, everything I've heard about this light is absolutely unbelievable. Most people run four, four running forward, and then you got a couple running back. But these, these are bright. I mean, one one light alone would probably be plenty. But you know what? This <laughs> thing is gonna look bad. So this is just the front. There's the rest of the boxes. <laughs> and then the other thing that's cool is what we're gonna do is we're uh, mounting all LED uh, flag poles. We're gonna do a United States flag, and we're gonna do one to support our police force. Obviously, made sure those were made in America. And then I'm gonna mount them all with the Skosh flag mounts. So these things are cool, I've used them before. They're all over the UTV, they're just really quick. You just bolt them on real quick and bolt it up. But anyway, enough of that. Let's get right to the fabrication and show you guys what we're doing and how we're gonna do it. So we're on the boat, we're about to show you guys where we're gonna mount this. If you haven't seen the boat, go check out this episode right here of us looking at it. But this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. Now is the, the exciting part for my dad and I to just enter in the whole fabrication of, of figuring out how this light bar is gonna work. So I'll turn the camera to my dad and he's gonna show you kind of how we're starting this off. So basically we're gonna use these clamps. This will be become part of the light bar so we could pull it on and off. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a constant radius all the way across here. And I'm kind of glad it's got a little gap in here because we need a place to hide all the wires. Uh, behind the light and so this is going to give us a nice little triangle to bring all the wires into it's going to be pretty cool so there is if we could fit we have 13 to 14 spec at just from our measurements now we don't know how far we have to space the lights and things like that but e even if we had 10 on this thing it's i don't even think that they run six on a trophy truck <laughs> put, yeah, put it that way four to six maybe <laughs> yeah so uh we're gonna that's where it's gonna go and then we're building one also back here on the boat and this one's gonna be key because when we're surfing back here, this is where the surf will be. We want lights on the same exact style way here. So this light bar is gonna be much simpler because we'll probably just have one bend in it. But we'll probably have, I, I think we spec'd out like 10 back here if we could fit it. And then that'll light up the whole surf wave right there. So let's just get right into showing you guys how we're gonna do this. And uh, it's gonna be pretty interesting. And what I love about it is this is gonna take a lot of fabrication and a lot of thought. 
So let me go show you guys what we're working with. So this brings us all the way over to our Bailey radius bender. We have a piece of inch and a half steel in here. And this thing is awesome. Uh, we, we, we've never been spoiled enough to have something like this in the past. We've used this a few times, but you can see as my dad puts it through, it's already putting a, a pretty good radius in this bar, like really slow because once you put a radius in something like this, it's you don't really get it back out. You can do an extent, but you can see how much that bar is actually bending. You can tell actually by staring at the, the door lines right here, it's got a, a few degrees of radius. So what we'll keep doing is just kind of rocking this thing back and forth, back and forth until we get it right. So we got our radius in the bar here. And uh, so what my pops is grabbing is our, our tube bender. And what we'll be able to do with this is, is do a kink, a uh, real tight kink with, with this. We'll, uh, we obviously got to change these heads and that'll be able to follow the, the baby. So let's, let's get all this ready and we'll show you guys how easy this thing bends. Uh, what we did is we have our bender there. We already did a test bend. So we're gonna use this kind of to overlay on our bar. But my dad and I are gonna put this in, do a bend. So I, I was going to use this, but for reference, just in case someone doesn't have like a, a perfect level or like that, the other thing you could do that my dad and I'll just do real quick is if you just take your tape measure and if, as long as your floor is perfectly level, he's just going to uh, do a tape measure from here up and then I'm going to do one on this side and just make sure that this thing is level. Tell me where you're at. All right, I'm 41 and three quarter to the top. Oh, I'm 41 and not even an eighth. 40 and seven eighths. Oh, I'm 40 and 5 eighths. Let me see how level this is with just a level. This will be like the first kind of test fit that we put on the Bimini. Uh, my dad and I have to hold it. I, I don't even know how to set my camera down, so I'm going to do the best I can to kind of show you guys. But uh, let's, let's put this thing on and, and see how she looks. So this is where we're at. It's definitely a lot of light. At, at this point, we're basically coming up two lights short as far as our length, which we wanted to have 14 of the, the LP6s on this bar. And right now we can only fit 12. So we gotta, yeah, we're, we have to space them one inch to put all the bolts and everything in. So uh, what we're trying to figure out is if we bent this around the bimini, but we, we don't know if that would look right. So we're gonna leave the bar long. Let's, let's set it back up there and uh, kind of see what we could kind of figure out here. But e even if 12 of these things is, is insane, my dad and I were just wanting a 14. That's kind of what we had originally spec'd out. So let's put it on there and just kind of see what it looks like. But we're making some pretty good progress here. Just getting all the, uh, all the stuff ready to weld up that bar. We're gonna, we're gonna TIG weld everything. Uh, especially I like the TIG welding, especially on the boat because there's no sparks. But we do have to still be very careful. Disconnected all the batteries so nothing happens because uh, you, you could uh, actually hurt electronics when you ground and weld. But yeah, it's, I mean, you can see kind of where, where we're sitting over there right now. The problem is, is that my dad and I need more hands to like hold and, and tack all this, but we're gonna attempt to hold and, and get some tacks and, and at least get it set on the boat. And then we should be able to bring it back to, I don't know if we're going to use like this fixture table and, or how we're going to mount the lights yet, but I imagine we bring it back here and see how we can figure it out. But let's go over to the boat and uh, I'll try and rig up the camera to, to film it. But uh, yeah, this is going to be, this is a, a very critical part of what we got to do. You know, it's funny. Someone asked me the other day, hey, who welds better, you or Brad? And I had to think about it for a minute and I had to say Brad. <laughs> Oh, that kind of sucks. Yeah, it's, it's always a little scary welding on something that's like finished because like this thing's fully wrapped, the interior's all dialed in, like this is a done boat. And when we're done with this, it's going straight to the boat show. So any little thing that happens, I would obviously be responsible for, for at this point. So just want to be careful. Even, uh, usually I don't, cool, obviously you never want to cool a weld but I'm just doing like tacks just to kind of get this set. What this is clamped to is all powder coated from the factory. So I think I'm gonna tack this and, and I'm doing a pretty hot tack and I'm gonna cool it so I don't hurt the powder under the actual, the factory bimini. Uh, but this looks really, really good. 
all of our gaps, everything is set. So we're going to uh, get this all tacked up and then bring it over to the bench. Heck yeah, boys, that was the hardest part, scariest part, obviously. We are all done. We didn't hurt any of the powder coat, nothing like that. Let's go down to the bench now, try and figure out how I could get all these welded on. We still have to make all the, the brackets. We're gonna have to make all custom brackets for the LP6s to actually mount onto the, the light bar we just built. So let's go down to the bench and let's get this figured out, but I'm, uh, I'm feeling pretty good. All right, what we got going on there, Pops? So this is gonna be the adjustable bracket for the light. So we'll pivot right off at the center and it'll just go around the bar. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect. And then there's the end tab. So the two end tabs, we could cap off the pipe. So I'm gonna send it over to our good old boys at Laser Bros. Obviously it'd be nice to have a laser or a plasma cutter or a water jet, but uh, we don't. So we're gonna send off that file. We'll, we'll go over there, grab some, uh, just a quick shot of them lasering it. And then we'll come back here and uh, start welding on all the lights. And then we should be able to put it on the boat for the very first time. All right, those boys knocked them out. Here's our two different tabs. How's it going, Pops? What's up, buddy? We already got these bad boys. Check it out. You already did those? Yeah. All 60 of them? Hopefully you, hopefully you drew them, right? We'll find out right now. Nice, Dad. It'll be nice to have that adjustment. That's a lot, too, which is good. The hardest part is going to be how close can we mount them. Yeah, we want them tight. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah. What I'll do is I'm going to uh, measure, like, the total width. And then we're also going to add in one washer. When I do it that way, when we powder coat this bar, powder coating has a little thickness and uh, that, that way we're not having to bend out tabs and stuff like that. So what I'll do is let me cut out a little bar for this and uh, let's, let's go mock one up on the light bar. And then we could put it on for the very first time. That looks good. Good job, Perfect. buddy. Thanks, buddy. What's up, Miller? <laughs> <laughs> All right, after many burns later, I think I told my dad like seven times, hey, this part's hot, this is hot, this is hot. And he's like mocking everything up. Ah, ah. But anyway, we, uh, we pretty much got it now. Then for some reason, him and I both thought that we had 12 lights measured out, but obviously we both suck at math. We're better at fabricating. And we only have 11. So we gotta figure out a place for the other ones, which 11 is still, keep in mind, it's way overkill. Trophy trucks, like I told you guys in the beginning, have like four to six. I don't even think I've seen six on a trophy truck. So 11 is still a lot, a light. What we're gonna do right now is we have all these uh, tabs all just kind of tacked on right now. We're gonna go through and on our last light here, uh, we, we marked, because this is going to be the very end, uh, my dad drew up a, a second tab for this end. We're going to cut this off and then uh, weld on the end of the light. I'm just a little nervous because we were going to do the middle right here and then just do like two more and throw it on the boat to look at it. But then when we started just doing everything, we were on like number four. I'm like, Dad, I thought we were just going to mock up a few and he's all, just keep going. So hopefully everything is dialed in. It, it should be in theory. In theory, we'll see. Dang, Dad, you set the look. You set those up nice. It's like the radius was in your mind.
My dad did pretty good drawing those suckers. Ground? Oh, do you need that? I might need the ground. I don't know. Hey Miller, hold this and then hold the pipe. Yeah. Okay. And then let me get the water. It. Yeah. Hold the other part with your... <laughs> so many bolts back here I even have bolts from uh, when I was racing some of my first races uh, I don't think we have enough bolts yet. we don't have enough bolts we'll see it's a lot of lights dad we set them all on and my tax snap off All right, well, let's get a mini crane to lift this up. All right, dots, questions, concerns. A lot of... You! You light up my boat! Bam, 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 bam! Don't ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of concerns happening right now because... Oh, my. Oh, my lantern. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I got it. Here, set it down right there and I'll come oh, up. Oh, gosh. Dude, this looks insane. Does it look good? Yeah. Looks like it was a really bright idea. I think it'll really like make shine. the boat shine, honestly. Well, what we could do is if we ever need to, is uh, we'll put it on the trailer to light up for the trophy trucks. <laughs> Have them pull it through long travel of the trailer? Yeah. Dude, this looks insane. Are you, are you just saying that? One out of 10, what does it look like? 11 and a half. Let's look at this bad boy. Oh god! That made sick. the whole freaking thing. Why uh, is it so sick? That is ridiculous! Oh my god. <laughs> wow! Nothing on the water like this. Wow! Is that good job? That was awesome! Holy freaking crap! <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh. That my is gosh. so cool looking. I don't even have any words. Woo-wee! <laughs> you good looking! Oh my gosh, this is sexy! I don't know what it looks like. It's sportier than hell. It actually belongs in the dunes. Look at how legit this looks right here. Yeah, but there's only oh one little gosh. problem. It's sexy. Oh yeah, that's bad. Hold, well, first off, hold on, you guys. The, the light bar itself looks... Look at it from this angle. Oh, it's sexy. That thing is awesome. Man, that, that's a lot, of, a lot of movement. Yeah, but we'll just triangle it. We'll go from here. Oh, that's bad. No, we're going to go back from here, and, it'll, and it'll, it'll, we can make it solid. We're just going to go back to... Let's just go back to a point over here. I just wonder if that when we do that, that's going to look weird. No. No, no one will even know. No one's going to see a bar there. It doesn't even, it, it makes sense anyway. Well, I, I will say out of, and, and I've had other boats in the past, what I love about the bimini on this boat is you could see how far the, the, the shade is. Like in the summer, it's nice because it shades the full driver and the passenger right here. A lot of the biminis don't even shade the driver. They're super short. But also, uh, Centurion I know is not planning to put 60 to 100 pounds of lights on the very front side. They the should. They should. Oh. They should, because that looks insane. Now we just got to figure out a way to stop this right here. And how we got to do it is we got to strengthen from this very, very end. So basically here, all the way, tie it all the way back down to the bimini. Yeah, that's a lot of bounce. And and their their bimini is already inch and a half. I mean, this is like some, it's probably like eighth inch uh, thick aluminum. So it's, they, they already, pride themselves on having like a very strong bimini to where you don't even have to take this down like I don't, I don't know dad is it like 60 or 80 mile an hour this thing will be fine through my dad says 80 I don't know the exact number so don't quote me but it's it's very very strong so let's figure out what we got to do here I'm pretty excited if I if I saw this at the boat show and I walked by and I saw all these lights on it I'd be like 
Holy cow. So this is kind of what we're thinking here. You won't even notice when this is all black that this is even here, but this is going to completely strengthen this here. Yeah, oh so yeah, we're gonna have to. One kink in there. I mean, just a little one. Yeah, so we're touching here. And so then my dad's thinking to go to the tower there. You wanna show everyone what you did there, Dad? Yeah, I just machined a quick bung here that we're gonna weld to. Normally, what you do is Heims, but nothing else on here has Heims, so I think it's look funny. All right, so maybe like a bend. As tight as we can on that end. So Pops and I got this all tacked on right here. I just wanted to show you guys kind of what we're looking at. This is going directly from the light bar all the way to the strength point on the tower. So now we'll unbolt this, I'll fully weld all this, and then we'll give this one whole side a test, but it's gotta completely fix the situation, don't you think? 100%, yeah. That looks good too, it looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. All right, so here is what these bars look like. I basically gotta go through, burn out all this, and then we'll throw them back on the boat and uh, do a test. We also finished the rear light bar, so we'll have to throw that on and test it out as well. But we didn't wanna put it on until we put all the strengthener bars and everything on and test it all for the first time all together. So let's go ahead and weld all this up and let's get it right back on the boat. All right, so this is the testing moment, which it has to work. I mean, that, that awning is hanging out there quite a ways, but this thing was bouncing everywhere, so let's see how it works. Rigid? Yeah. Push up and down on it. Oh, night and day. Yeah. It ain't going nowhere. Wow! <laughs> well, that's exciting. We know it's gonna work now. Do it again? Well, that's oh, yeah. me, like, pushing hard, but, like, this is me, like. Oh, yeah. That's oh, strengthening yeah. it like crazy. Yeah, that looks good too. Once we get those all black, it's gonna just flow with it. I like we got the same angle as the window. So here is the rear bar. Yeah, dude, yeah, that is gonna look good. We uh, we basically put it on with these clamps. You can see that's the same exact way we, we mount on the front bar. It's the easiest way. That way one day when we sell this boat, uh, we'll, we'll be able to just pull off all the light bars uh, because we're, we're keeping on these lights. This is a... A lot of lights we'll be able to use this on on many different things but yeah that's probably the easiest way we kind of found to mount this this bar is just on these little clamps we are going to have some leftover lights on the rear light bar just with the width of the bimini uh that we didn't really account for is we could only fit seven lp6s which is still a crazy amount so we're going to have a handful left over once we're done with these light bars i don't know if there's other areas on the boat that we could add little lights here and there to just kind of shine different areas, like maybe a wider or anything like that. But uh, we're all done with this mount right here. Let's go throw it on the boat and see how she looks. It's going to look, I think it's going to look crazy with lights in the back. I think it's sick. <laughs> My big bro just dropped in here. Oh, I didn't even check the flex of it, Dad. Uh, it's hardly nothing. Oh, yeah, that'll be so nice for night riding. Oh, yeah. Hopefully it doesn't blind the person behind the boat. Hey, uh, hook the back. <laughs> I love it. So I was saying, I, I like how like there's a band right in the middle of the bar and the bimini, because then it's gonna make light go like both sides behind the behind the boat. Plus, if someone's following too close, you'll be able to kick the lights on. Oh gosh, that this is gonna be crazy for night surfing. What do you think, Shane? I think it's gonna light up half of Lake Norman for sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here is the uh, the look. This is with the tower pretty high up. Once these are black, you're not, it's gonna completely go away, but I love the way everything's looking. Here is the back bar. That's gonna be so crazy for night surfing. I am really excited. We got a lot to do. We're going to, we already have, actually my dad went through and, and took off the rub rail. So that's all off right now. And we're gonna go through paint a bunch of different things. We've got flags to put on. I got scotch mounts to hold all the flags on the bimini. 
just a lot of little things. So let's just jump to uh, paint some of that stuff and you guys could kind of see all the little, again, these are little details that most people would never see, but we want to just make sure it's done, especially for this thing kind of debuting for the first time in front of people at the boat show. This is the last finishing part of the Diverti Edition boat. Yes! Is that just beautiful? Let's just stand back here. Holy cow. We've never done a boat before. This is our first legit boat build. This is fun. I like that. Why don't we get bad. this, let's get this bad boy outside and let's show you guys the Diverti Edition RI-265, 100% done on how it's going to the boat show. I'm looking at it right now. I have never seen a boat look like this. So let's get it out of the shop and let's show you guys. If you guys enjoyed the boat, enjoyed this episode, let us know in the comments. If there's anything else that you guys have ideas on that we could do to the boat, we're open. So hopefully, hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Let's get it outside.